Okay, I think we're live. Good afternoon, whoever's watching, if it is afternoon. Um, we're going to wait a few minutes to see if anybody joins us. It does look like we've got some people. Welcome, welcome. All right. Gonna wait another minute or two here. It is now just now one o'clock. As you guys are coming in, um, welcome to What, Why, When. I'm Bailey. Um, I am the intern here at Fontana for the summer. And we are open now. Fontana opened up um, yesterday. We have different hours, but we are open to the public. Um, so I think I'm going to go ahead and get started. Hi, guys. Um, today we're going to be talking about something really cool. We're going to be talking about orphan wildlife. It's that time of year where people are finding orphans and or babies that are alone and they think that they're orphaned, but sometimes that's not the case. Some species of animals will leave their young in that in a safe spot and will come, go off forage and then come back. So when you find a wildlife, say a baby fawn or a fox or baby bunnies, their moms might just be off foraging for food. They probably are gonna come back. Um, you should leave the babies alone and watch for the mother, check on them to see if there's look healthy. The only time you should really intervene is if you have, um, if they're in immediate danger or if um, they're in obvious distress or hurt or you know that their mother's been killed. Now, that being said, you should not raise these babies on your own. It is illegal in Iowa to have wildlife unless you are licensed. Um, that being said, there are numbers you can call in the description of this video. There are several links that you guys can follow to the Iowa DNR for more information or the Rescue, Animal Rescue League of Iowa. Both places have numbers that you can call. Um, I think we have a few here at Fontana that we can give you to call. Um, so, yeah. And we do have a very special guest. He actually just fell asleep. I'm gonna wake him up here. This little guy is why we're talking about orphan wildlife. This is a little raccoon cub, kit, cub, baby that we are raising here at Fontana. Um, we're hoping that he will be a program animal and will be on display so that the public can learn about him. Um, yeah, raccoons, they tend to have five or six, maybe seven pups kits um, and they'll stay with their mom till they're a couple months old and then they will be released. Um, he will probably never be able to be released just because he is going to be imprinted on humans. I am bottle feeding him every six hours and at night. I get up every night with him um, and feed him at least once. Um, he is starting to eat solid foods but he is going to be hopefully going off of those in the next week or two. Um, are going off of bottles. He'll be on solid foods. Um, he is not a pet. He, will, he is not treated as a pet. He is a wild animal. He bites. He scratches. He has been a little bit aggressive with me. Um, and so I just have to keep reminding myself that he's not a pet. He is a wild animal. They may be cute at this age, but they're not. They don't make good pets. They are messy. His poop stinks and he's destructive. He likes to chew on things and tear things up. He's being really cute and cuddly right now, but that's just because he just got fed and he wants to take a nap. So um, that's all the information I have. I would love to take any questions that you guys have because I have not been seeing any questions.
If there are no questions or if I haven't seen them, I will get to them in the comments. I'm doing this off my computer, so it's a little bit different than off my phone. Um, so if you have asked questions, I'm sorry that I haven't been able to answer them. I will get on and answer them. Um, so yeah, that's the what, why, when of baby animals. And again, the best thing you can do is leave them alone. Um, mom's probably somewhere close by or will be coming back. Leave them alone unless you, see he's chewing on my shirt. Leave them alone unless you know that their mother is dead or they're in obvious distress or in immediate danger. It's leave them alone. Let nature take its course. He's biting my fingers right now. That's the best thing you can do. Thanks for watching, guys.